Hi everyone, Simon from Horma Studio. Today we're gonna to do a little bit of cleaning on Photoshop. It's definitely not the best part, but I gotta do it at some point, right? So, having a neat folder structure that fits in your workflow is actually quite paramount when it comes to optimizing your workflow and maximizing your creative time. So, I'm still fine-tuning my uh, folder structure for my Photoshop file, but it's still like making really slight adjustments and I've been using the same one for over two to three years now and it has had a really tremendous impact on my uh, overall productivity, basically. So I'm going to cover with you why you should have like a proper and decent folder structure. I think the main reason, uh, or at least my number one reason, is in terms of workflow. Having a proper folder structure is going to help you in actually being extremely efficient once you have like all your render passes uh, imported into Photoshop. And instead of being like, what do I need to know? Uh, what do I need to do now? Should I start with this or that? You just have your folder structure and you just follow each folder up. Uh, until you're basically done. In terms of uh, productivity, this basically means that today I would take like maybe 10 to maximum 20 minutes to get a first draft out. And it's not entirely due to that, but uh, the folder structure really helped in structuring my basically focus so that I know that I have to work on the lighting, then to add people, then to rework the colors, etc. So this is really helpful in that way. The second aspect that is important is in terms of collaboration. Uh, if you're a freelancer, it's sort of okay because the only thing, only person you have to collaborate with is yourself. But if you're collaborating with other people that might have to use your Photoshop file at some point, you do want to have a proper structure that is legible so that people can actually use your file. And if they ever need to do any adjustments, they can actually find the right way to do it without completely destroying your uh, file, basically. The third item is just in terms of layer finding. Uh, it is extremely, like, I know that no, sometimes you don't have time to name properly your layers. I usually almost never do. But the reason I'd never properly name my layers is because I always put them in the right folder. Meaning that if I need to find a layer, it's quite easy because you can like right click on Photoshop on your canvas and then you will see in which folder it is. And depending on what you're looking for, you will at least know in which folder to look for your specific layer, saving you a lot of time basically. Another aspect that comes with like a proper folder structure is that it's going to streamline or re-simplify the updating process. We all know that we're never going to have like on the first draft the final renderings and you need to update them regularly. So a good thing is that you're going to have uh, like a good knowledge of which folder needs to be updated and which one are actually can be left alone because you know they're not going to move. So having a proper folder structure is going to save you heaps of time later down the road. Even though I said earlier that the only person you're collaborating with is yourself, you're actually sometimes collaborating with yourself from past years. And it is a bit annoying when you're like revisiting a project from like past years and you can see how messy you were. So the good thing is that if you start implementing a proper folder structure, it means that if you have to revisit your files in say two, three or five years or whatever, you'll be able to actually uh, reuse the project in the an actual seamless way with the way you were you would be working in several years. Last but not least, I think the biggest uh, interest in having like a proper folder structure is that you can actually use a lot more uh, automation tools because uh, when you start having like a folder, you can actually start coding stuff. And I don't know if you like coding, but uh, I do like to optimize things. And uh, there are like many, many actions and scripts that I use that would just be impossible to use without having a proper folder structure. And as I said, since this is something I would use all the time, having the same folder structure enables me to use the same scripts over and over again, and then saving a lot of time again. I don't think there are any drawbacks at having a folder structure, especially when it's automated. It really doesn't take time to do it. So basically what we're going to do is that we're going to have a look at how basically how should you set your structure and where do you start. So although I could just advise you to just buy my script and use the folder structure and well, I mean, if you're lazy, just do it. I'll be happy with it. Um, there are like a couple of ways that I can just tell you now on how to come up with you know, like your personal folder structure. 
the easiest way, I think, uh, at least is what I, I've done, and that worked pretty well, is to basically take like all your like different types of folder um, PSD files that you've had and that you of like advanced projects, simple projects, and basically try to simplify them down to like all the types of folders you use and then try to reorganize them. And then once you're done with like having a proper structure, you just put that into a Photoshop file. You rearrange the thing, you can change the text, change the color to make it like more nice. And what you do is that from there, you just create a, an action that creates the whole folder structure so that from now on, every time you start a PSD file, you can just run the folder structure and start from there. Uh, what I can do now is to show you my own folder structure so that you can see what I mean when it's saving time and how like automating things can actually be quite cool. So this is the same file as for the last little tutorial I did on the burn and dodge tool. If you haven't seen it, well, you should check it. Um, so as I said, here we would have like a base project with all my passes. And what I want to do is to not like start doing things in a stupid way by like adding little things and moving things, etc. because it would be a bit weird. So what I do is I just have my folder structure um, action here. And what I do is I just click it. And as you can see, everything gets created in a really pretty quickly, quick way. And you can imagine that creating that uh, every time would be quite time consuming. So one thing that I can show you also, like depending on the on the amount of time you want to put in, but like for instance, what it does here is that I have like all my layer masks that are already done. I have all my uh, glass refraction and reflection that is done. I have all the people uh, adjustment layers that are done and I can actually use all my uh, people shadow casting um, scripts in that way because they're completely tied to that structure. Meaning that if I don't use that structure, most of my um, actions, I can't use them either. The other thing as well is that when I use these actions, the good thing is that they will be done inside the right um, folder, which makes them really easier to find. And as I mentioned uh, a couple of times, one of the good thing is that then I have all my update here that I can just update basically. So I'll have like a new folder created here, adding like with the new uh, the new layers, sorry, of the new thing. This one can be deactivated and then I will try to update these ones uh, like manually or automatically depending on how uh, how the script is working. And then the other thing that I was talking about is that basically in terms of workflow, it just means that you have to work your way up. So here I have my base adjustment layers, meaning I'm going to just like do these small adjustments or like correct the fuck ups that would have happened in the 3D. Or here I have my background, meaning if I add the alpha pass, I can start adding like a black uh, backplate, sorry. And then I can go and add like the vegetation in the back if I need. Then I can go here and start like looking for the color and the material adjustments. And then here I can start looking for the curves and change the the contrast and add the dodging tool and blah, blah, blah. Here I can start changing the, um, the refraction of my building and then add back the reflection and then I can add the people. And here when I'm down here, basically what I do is I just create a file and I completely flatten the whole thing. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just have like a quick camera row uh, thing and save it and this will be my my v1 for my client and then I just when I start again I just unlock this one or uh, hide this one and I start again from the bottom and rework my way up until here and then I'll have my v2 and v3 etc so as you can see having this sort of uh, really simple legible I wouldn't say simple but like really efficient and tailored basically is more the term to my workflow means that I will be way more productive and uh, save a lot of time to actually do like more work or focus more on the important part of my uh, project. So that's all for the folder structure uh, video. I hope you sort of understand now how important it is and how much it can completely change and boost your productivity once you're actually starting to get like a tailored version of your folder structure. 
if you're too lazy to create your own, uh, by all means, just buy the, the script that I have that is available in the description. I might do a folder structure, like a simplified one that would be free so that you can sort of try it out, but I'm not sure we'll see. And either way, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, feel free to comment as usual and like and share and whatever people do on YouTube. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye.